With this video, we want to review the role hierarchy functionality and how it aligns with profiles and org wide defaults here. So for all standard out of the box objects in Salesforce, grant access using hierarchies is automatically enabled. With custom objects, it is disabled and we need to turn it on. Now, if you don't turn it on, then all access will be granted based upon org-wide defaults, what we see here. But if it is on, then you can customize it based upon the hierarchy that you've set up. Now, if we come over into roles, we click set up roles, we can see all of the roles that are set up here. And if we click on, say, the vice president of customer service, we're able to see all users that are assigned here, their default opportunity access and their case access. And then if I click edit, I can see all of that to be changed in real time. Now, something important to point out here is that if you've got create and read access, but let's say you don't have edit access to something and that's at the profile level, then you cannot have a role at within this role hierarchy that will then give you access. All of it's going to be determined based upon your create, read, edit, delete access on the profile. Then it's going to look at org wide default settings and then it can open that up, but you would need to have that access at the profile level and then what role hierarchies does is it opens it up into records that you do not own um, past the org-wide default.